Hello again and welcome to Stinchcombe Hill. I haven't been here in, I don't know, five or six years, but I know my way around so I should be able to do okay. This course opened in 1889 and it's on the same escarpment as Cotswold Edge that I played a couple of weeks back. The defence to this course is the wind and the rough. Now there's no wind today, or rather, I think there's just about one club of wind. So I should do okay, hopefully. I mean, the game's been a bit ropey recently. But I hate first tees right in front of the clubhouse and people staring at me with a camera. I was so nervous coming down that first. Still am. You know, the legs are still going a little bit. So it gives a thumbs up and hopefully I will get a little bit more relaxed. Second hole. Well, the second hole runs along the edge of the ridge. And it's a gentle dog leg to the left. And you do have to get your ball out to the right. But that's not the right. Now this rough from a distance looks like a solid mass. But as you can see up close, it's really quite wispy. So you can find your ball and play it. Well, that's the view down the valley, all the way to the Severn Bridge. Well, the third is a split fairway. Just about on driving distance, you go down a little ridge. And for some unknown reason, I don't seem to be long enough to actually get on the flat bit. So, the camera angle doesn't quite show it, but I am on a serious downslope. And that's a bit knifey. From there, I don't really have much of a chance of getting it up and down. Stinchcombe has got five par threes, and this is the longest. When it plays back into the wind, it's a full driver. And even then, I've come up short. A green and wreck! Now the white tee for the next hole, historically is over there, giving you a horrible angle for the tee shot, making it difficult, as it should be. It looks like they're gonna rest it for the winter, so we're over there with a straighter hole, a little bit easier, I hope. So this hole is far easier from this tee, until you do that. I wonder if I'll hit a fairway today. Now, as you can see, the green is a shelf. So I've got to carry everything to get on it. <laughs> now, you may notice that the greens have been sanded within the past couple of weeks. So they're not as quick as they usually are. I promise you, coming down that hill, the ball doesn't tend to stop, so I got lucky. And this is the view from the sixth tee. Again, absolutely wonderful. And the hole looks like this. Now it's not very long, but when you've got three clubs of wind out the left on a windy day, this is a tough ask. An 
as you can see looking back down the hole, there's absolutely nothing to stop that wind. Right, number seven. This is a toughie. It's a little dog leg to the left. And now is the time for me, obviously, to find my fade. Now for the second shot, there's a large front right bunker. So I need to go a fair bit left to find the front edge of the green. But not quite that far left. Bugger. But it leaves me one of my favourite shots, which is just a bump into the bank with a 9 iron. Then it pops up onto the green and rolls out. And if you get it right, then you've got a putt like this. Damn it. Eight was always a straightforward, reasonable hole. And then they planted a stand of trees down the right hand side. Now it was all right when they were little and they had stakes round them, but now they're nasty. Bunker at the front, got to take that out of play, so I figure with the wind it's a seven. But perhaps it was an eight. And this is another occasion where normally you can't stop the ball, it's going six, seven, eight feet past. Thank goodness for a bit of sand. We finish the nine with a downhill par three that's well protected. Now the golf society that I was in actually played here on my 40th birthday. So I offered nearest the pin on all five par threes. It wasn't cheap. Well, 10 is the longest par four and I love it. I love this hole, but I think I'm gonna need some calming music. Eleven is one of the other par threes. It's not very long, but it is very well protected and very exposed to the wind. And this hole can be a tough ask on some days. It really can. I think I've just hit my first fairway. I really do like this 12th green. There's so many interesting slopes. There's a bunker that pinches it left and right. But when you hit it like that, it's not much of a bother. But you can get caught out on this green. 13 as a whole I find very difficult. I don't know why, but those trees down the right are an absolute magnet for me. And I think I talked myself into that one.
Well, with 13 now behind us, it is plain sailing to the clubhouse. If you can find the planet with your golf ball, there really isn't much trouble from here on in. So I should be able to par to the clubhouse and finish on four over. Final par three, not very long, well protected, wind swept. What more can you ask for for a little challenge a little bit late in the round? It's another cracking hole. Sixteen, and you just need to hit a little three wood or a five wood out to the right towards those trees on the right. No, the other right, Simon. The other right. Now you can hit driver here and go straight towards the green, but it's out of bounds all the way down the left. So my choice is just to the right of the tree that's in the middle of the fairway. Take a three wood, that's all you need really. And there we have it, we're right of the tree that's in the middle of the fairway. I've only got the nine iron. I don't see where the reward is in attempting to take the driver straight at the green. It just looks too dangerous for me. All right, guys and gals, I do believe there's some ladies who watch these. Just the 18th to go. It's the only par five of the course. I think it's under 500, so I got a chance of finally getting a bird. But with this wind direction, I'm not entirely too sure about that. And my inability to find fairways. One thing I will say, just to sort of a uh, God, you're an idiot, Simon. One thing I would say, this hilltop turf is very good. Some of the other hilltop courses in the county, the turf is absolutely miserable. It's sparse, it's, it's not very nice to play off. But up here at Stinchcombe Hill, it's wonderful. Bunkers are cracking too. Glad I didn't pay too many visits to them. Did I go in a bunker? Yeah, I did, just a fairway bunker. Anyway, Hit the like, that really helps me out if you can hit the like. Cheers.